here with E-Drag here again, and we're back with a Skaven. And after the last, last episode, we've pushed the stereo back a bit. And now it's time to pounce. Oh, hey yo. Who are they? The stereo, the stereo Rebels. Interesting. They don't, apparently, I, I believe it was the Vampire Coast. The Dread Freight, I think, was there before. I'll have to know from then. The dwarves are settling in. Still, no real movement on this side. I mean, I've been focused on this side, really. Right, let's get rid of the stevia. So, plan is get go to Ikatia, surround that so they can't produce any more armies. Drag banning down here just to support it, and well, just murder everybody there, to be very honest. Ooh, we got, I can actually build something here with my cash, which I've saved up. Um, the question is, what should we have here? Well, let's just build that. That's just easy to build. Let's do that. Right, I shall see you when I've got this place surrounded. Okay, so we are in the position. I have one, two siege towers to my name. Oh, no, I have three siege towers. Ah yes, I've got the ability to increase that. I have my other reinforcements army. As you can see, this bounce power is pretty good for me. And I think I'm just going to auto resolve this, because I'm not the biggest fan of the old siege battles. I don't mind them, but let's just get out of the way. I'll do a better one next time. Nice a victory. All good. I got food, and I am so... Oh, that's interesting, but now we're going to make that... What was that food? Oh, three. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to go straight for that and get the other three food. The other three, um... Settlement. And that, that have destroyed Castilla. So let's discuss what we're going to do now. Here we kill blah, blah, Right. First things first. Let's put you in recuperation stance. Skaven Bright can actually make some. I can. Oh, I can make that. Now that is severely tempting. Let's go back to that in a second. What have we got here then? Yeah, we've already got the first stage of that, which is good. I don't mind keeping that. Um, I'm going to need some more stern vermin here. But I have got that on my main base. Do I need it here? That's the next question. Hmm. That is a good question. Do I need that here? Um, possibly not. Let's have a quick look at Skeven Bite. Because they have, that has all the things I need there for now. Um, that's definite there. But I can build everything I need here. And that's going to be my main recruitment for new armies anyway. So I think we are going to demolish that. Don't we need that at the moment? It doesn't give, it doesn't give us that much bonus really. So, assassins. I've already got, I've already got that on the main base. Got the war up chisels in the other base, so it stands to reason I could build this the horde thing. I mean, it's got a minus 100, well, that's expensive. Could build the battle workers. Ooh, yes, yes, build the pre uh, the pre pox cauldron. Yes, we should build that. That's 4,000. That's quite expensive. How much can we got? We got 8,700. How much is this? That's 5,400. Oh, okay. Dee dee dee. But that's that damage food. We need that. And we are going to keep this army here from one turn. As you can see, Karazan, I've got this place now. So I'm going to store this unit here for now. Just to help with the old um, public order. I'm going to 
get rid of send it here cords to go over there. Actually, can I send this can I send the units out? No, I'm gonna heal because I And I need to put something there as well. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna put there. I'll be honest. Probably just some rattling ones to increase my growth. Actually we're gonna do that. Let's just do that straight away. It's really cheap and it might as well. Start generating a bit of money and a bit of growth in this area. And from there um, we can start thinking about what we're gonna do with this place. I'm thinking we're definitely gonna put the box cauldron. We'll probably demolish that and I'll probably build the, the Crown Press Gang as well. Um, and then possibly the growth fats. Possibly. We shall see. But let's, let's skip a few turns and I'll be back with some more information. Um, that's looking great. 29, colonization. We've built this, so that's going to be ready in five turns. That gives me a whole heap of interesting things. What's the base going to do now? Well, that generates five for you anyway. Right, but more research, better recruit rank. Yeah, perfect. Right, let's skip on. Okay, so I skipped one turn. Uh, so we're turn 30 now. So we're getting that, waking up the turns up. And they did the, the quest reward. Um, news events here we go so yeah I've they give me a bonus cash so we can actually build some more stuff so I thought I'll talk about what we're gonna build here so Skaven Bright that's full I can't do much there and we can't you know, there's prestige thing and we can't do anything really for seven turns so just keep that as is for now my food is looking a bit worse for wear though that is worrying me it's not a huge problem at the moment, but it could be. Does any of this create food? I don't think it damn well does, does it? No, it doesn't look like it. So let's just increase that. Am I going to be attacked? Possibly. My word. Look at these. It's full stacks. They are going to be a pain to get rid of. Right, okay. We'll worry about that after. As you can see, I've moved my Ickit up to have the Ickit over here. And you see Petonia's there. I'm afraid Francis herself. So I'm going to leave him there. Well, the Dreadfreet. Who used to own Bilbao. And obviously they want it back. So I could... Um, possibly capture that. Uh, I would like some more. I might put some scaven spears in this army. Spears, yes, put some spears in there. We're getting a bit of cash as well, which is good. Very good. So let's spend a bit of cash. Uh, are we worth building that moment? No, I have other properties. That I will build though. Now, the question is do we need to keep this, the cramp pit? I'm going to say no, because it, as you, for those who don't know, in Boys Road Boys there's a unit cap, um, on like vanilla. So as you can see, on that one i got capacity plus one for Poison Wind Gorbidiers. So, building these buildings actually becomes useful in more places, because you have to have, I can only have as many as these state. So I can only have, if we go to here, I can only have one Rat Ogres. If only have, so I need two buildings, etc. Et so I can, as I upgrade it, I get more capacity. You get what I mean. Um, but for skirm, storm vermin, I don't need that. So I can avoid this building completely for now. And expand my empire a bit here. And we did say we were going to build a pox cauldron. So we are going to build a pox cauldron. We're going to upgrade this because that gives me a growth and a ton of cash. That's an obvious thing to upgrade. And that gives me max me skids, which makes me sad. Very sad, actually. Okay, so I thought I just thought I'd stop just for you in what's going on. So we're on turn 30. 30. Um, we're just expanding that army. I may 
I'm going to see what I, I might be back at any second, depending on what the Fane Francis does here. Let's hope with Red Fruit. Have a word, because I got a non-aggression pact with Red Fruit. I thought, yeah. why not? I had no problems with him at the moment. No, I'm sure I had a non-aggression pact. I do have a okay. I trade agreement with him. Huh? Do you want to trade the Red Fruit? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Screw you, then. Right, let's continue on, and we'll see where see where we stand in a bit. So, uh, so I did skip a turn, and I think the Dread Freet did be indeed beat uh, uh, Karazhan. So the and then I forgot the beastman appeared um, as I was sieging Magratta. I've just done a long Russian pact with Magratta uh, with the beastman, and they've decided to absolutely destroy Rabau. So you know. While I'm here, might as well just take this and take this province. Yeah, they did defeat him. Oh, I haven't got enough cash. Oh, let's search the ruins and see what happens. Oh, really? Really? I hate these things. Solve the puzzles. It's always desired. I don't think I've solved one of these yet. If people are watching, they probably already know the answer to this. So, one, two, three, four. One out of four. Mm. Can I see a pattern? No. Oh, um, hell. Oh, uh, whatever. I'll call that next turn then. Ah, oh, so much of a bomb. Okay. So yeah, we'll colonize that, that next turn. I've got a non-aggression packed with a beastman. They took a hammering there, and they had a, at least half a stack there. Um, so they can do what they are. I don't give a crap, really. I'm going to do attack me. Scheming, but they still got a population problem there. That's a bit annoying. What have we got? Not much cash. We're building slowly up. Um, I didn't demolish that in the end, did I? I didn't. I'm going to cash them all, so not much point doing it. We'll leave it there for now. It's not a bad thing to have it there. Um, that's going to be growth a bit more. That's also going to build me some more cash in. The food storages is a problem, though. Uh, just, is the right I can do it? Gives me food. There is. I need 3,000 gold. Okay, we'll save up for that as well. Because I'm going to need that. How long is the cooldown on that? So quick look. Oh, Forbidden Workshop. I forgot about this. Well, we're here. Let's expand. Uh, I need food. Oh, I need food, is it? Does it need food for everything? Of course it does, we're scaven. Right. I ain't going to be doing that anytime soon. I need to save my food. Technology tree. I've been going down the ruthless prance. I did. Um, Get some food, food generated from that. But that's not going to help me that much. The prey priests are going to be knocking that soon. I really could do. Um, I've to create some food, really. I don't think any of these does it. Anyway, let's continue on. Okay, yeah, I've skipped on a fair few turns. And as you can see, I have secured the bowel and I'm just moving. Just building that up a bit. I've had to move uh, Banning here back to base because that was just. It was just. I had to stabilize this area. It was just getting silly. I was using minus. I think it was minus seven before I put him in there. So let's get that up to. Let's get that growth up. And we can. Next preparation. I can increase that. That will increase my public order a bit more. I hope. It doesn't do actually do that. Interesting. Oh well, whatever. Let's get that public order. Uh, I can definitely increase the public order through this. So that will help a small bit. But in the meantime, we'll keep them there for defence. I might expand that army at some point, but no point at the moment because I make a nice bit of cash. I've solved my food problem, so that's increasing slowly. I am just about to perform the right to increase. Um, I'm gonna, well, I'm going to do it soon. But I've got a trade deal with a Dreadfruit, so I thought I might as well build some of these units. 
the, the trade pieces now and just generate a bit more cash. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get much from it. Actually, I'm going to iron. That's going to be bone two, two turns. At the culinary, it is a pathetic 68 gold. Uh, it's about nothing, but it's pretty much one scaven slave, isn't it? Let's be fair. So, that's totally useless. Other than that, it looks like Tiwi have set up to stay. Sour tools might be a good one to go and get. Their defences are quite good though. But I am thinking that might be a good one to get. I can always come down here and annoy the damn people down here, which is very tempting. Um, Castle Kaoson is quite a heavy defensive unit to get through, but that's also a possibility. And how much is this army? It is 1100. So at some point I would like to expand that. When I've got more food, I want to expand my Forbidden Workshop a bit, because I've, I've done nothing, but I have it has upgraded itself, which is perfect. So, first thing first, I am going to prefer this right and start generating a ton of food and some growth for five turns. So just do that, get that little spinny thing, and that will increase my um, food for it, and then I'll come back a bit later on and we'll see how we get on. So it's turn 35 at the moment. Okay, turn 40. And I was just about to go, right, I need some cash. So I was going to go and raid the Sea Corpse with uh, Ikit here. And Batoni up here. Which is irritating me. So what we're going to do, go over there. Ambush stance. And see if I can capture, capture some stupid Petonians. In the meantime, though, cash flow is good at the moment. Uh, we're making a nice bit of cash. I have graded Ikit's army a bit. I've added the Regiment of Renowned Teeth Breakers, because he basically gets them really cheap, so he might as well. And I've also added two Prague Monks, just to strengthen this army a bit more. Skaven Bite is quite happy. I have um, added some new trade routes, uh, uh, so some trade items. So we've now got a little bit of trade going on. Uh, 226, not too bad. 96 wine, a bit of iron. At least we're getting something from. I don't think we can do any more trades. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about South here. I am weighing up the idea of using this as a staging area to go come into and start annoying the Tomb King's hands. Um, I've also got, I'm thinking about what to do with these as well, Tyria here. This is Tyria, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and Petonia here. I don't mind getting rid of Petonia to be fair as well. There's so many different options at the moment, not sure which one to take. Uh, cash flow is, well, it's getting there. We've got the food sorted out to a certain extent. Um, so we grow it, that's coming up nice and slowly. I would like that a bit more than I can map it to move this army out a bit. Because uh, at the moment they're kind of stuck there. And I've also, I desperately need the money because I can I can update Skaven Bright to the next level now. So that's 6,000, so that's kind of a must. So I'm saving for that. I can also upgrade Magrata to a Grand one, which is another must. And I can upgrade the as well, so I need cash. So hopefully. Next time you see me, I'll be banking on taking the. Oh my word, that's a terrible army. I would wipe the floor with that. Please, please come towards me. Um, and yeah, so that's where we're up to at the moment. So, uh, we shall continue on and we shall see how we get on. Well, apparently, that we, me and the Beastmen are on good terms. They helped me out before uh, by taking. Bow bow, and they helped me out again, and just destroyed the Petun that Petunia army. But in the meantime, they are trying to sneak around. Either they'll come for me, or they're just trying to come around here. Whatever way, I am going to take them out now. I think. So that is exactly what we're going to do. So what's that? Let's go for the army. Maybe how um, weak men of arms, three foot squires. Not many cavalry though, which I do like to see. 
because Calvary is the death of good old Skaven. Um, I don't think I don't see a reason why I don't take this fight on. So 18 to 20. Let's go for it. Let's see what we'll do. And they take the fight on. And as you can see, that is a big thing. I don't always trust the balance of power, so I'm going to put... Uh, we'll put one in there. No, we'll put two. Do put two in. Uh, no, they haven't got any things, so... Yeah, they haven't got any artillery, which is good. He might be a little problem, depending on whatever he is. And of course, they've got a fair entrance for us, which is never a good thing. Right then, let's go and have a word. Okay, we... I'm ready to go, so quite a substantial armor we've got fighting here. Uh, let's have a course here, them before we start. My poor arms, not too fussed about them. They could be annoying. I would like to get rid of them as soon as possible, so I might set my uh, my snipers on that. Um, got some foot squires, foot squires are quite hard. Other than that, not too bad. No peasants, which is sad because could quite easily destroy peasants, let's be fair. Now uh, these are the bounted and she's just footing, so okay. Got two uses of the, that and this side I've got my doom phrase, they're gonna try to cut into the soft troops. Them to do some skirmishing. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna put those on the other side actually, away from the cav. Um, I don't need to get them mixed up with the cav. Do we need to get them mixed up with the cav to be honest either? Let's get rid of them as well. Put them over here. We've got Primunks on the left. Right, let's do this thing. Okay, snipers. They gonna bother coming in? No, okay. Well, uh, don't need Primunks as well. Let's push them forward. Push them into the trees. And we'll push them up as well. You can, you can go there. I don't have to do that side now, have I? Okay, but are they in range? They're, they're coming forward, let's halt there then. They're gonna be stupid enough. The sniper needs to kind of pop shots at them. Nope, not them. Them. My mistake. Even them. Yeah. Oh, it's just cheating as we all know. Let's move them up forward. Let's keep moving these up. And uh, they should be moving forward anytime soon. I don't want to heal them. Let's get these on that ridge there and put them by the side of them. Right. Hold that. We have got some toys. Hey you! Actually, he's weakening a few of them. Not bad, not bad. Right. Let's slow this down a bit so we can see what we're doing. Oh, they went straight into them. Oh, that's interesting. Right. You go into that. You cut them apart. You cut them apart. You go overwatch duty. You go to that. You two come up forward. Actually, we might just pause it here. So I want you there. I want you to start picking up them. And as soon as they attack, we oh they retreated them. Interesting. So we got. They're going to start firing at them. Are these being shot at? No, and no, they're still moving up. But they have been shot at. Oh, that's not very nice. So I've weakened them bits. Not much though. What have we got here? Have we got anything? Cracks core. That's a. Yes, rave spell. So we'll save that for a bit. Right, let's start progressing a bit here. You know, I don't need to fight them, I don't need to fight them. Perfect. Stop him. Slow down, slow down. Good, good. Alright. 
Right, you can go on that, you can go on that. And throw us down a second. And we will unleash the magic. Or the warp stone, whatever they call it. Yeah. I cover that beautifully. What will they fire that? As you can do, you fire them. I think we'll just capture them right there. If we can, I missed that. Come on. Can I get them a sandwich? Because that would be excellent if I can. Come on. Give me control of it. Control. Come on. Come on. Perfect. Okay, back here. Don't really know what he's trying to do. Let's see. Alright, you can go straight over here. You two can come on the back. Take off skirmish now. Oh, you wankers. Uh, right, and now we can use this. Play that. Okay. That's bad. That's bad. Right. Push them forward. Let's take them off skirmish. And you haven't got a line of sight. That I don't want. They're sorting them out beautifully. You go to the back of them. You position yourself there. Okay, and can't do anything else. And we'll launch up around the back of there, I think. Let's push them forward. Not bad, not bad. We are starting to buckle a bit, but it's not too bad though, not too bad. They're treating. New York can come back. New York can come forward. New York can fire. New York can fire. This flank is going down though, which I do like. Alright. Let's push the home advantage here, this side. That side's going well. You find them there. You finish them off. Can, ooh, can you finish it? them off? That'll be perfect if you can. Perfect. And have we got any more warp? We have. Which hits there. Alright, we're crushing them, we're crushing them. Alright, let's push home the advantage now. Shattered, they've shattered. I think there's a mash route there. It is a mash route. Perfect. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. What's that do again? Yeah, okay. I should use that. That on my uh, pre monk should have been very useful. I forgot to uh, go over the overview, but to say the east, the Ratwing guns got about 500 kills between them. 300 between my two legendary orbs. Um Yeah, it was a wow, to be fair. So let's just put them back into Bilbao to heal up. Uh, didn't hardly use any men. I think that was 1 to 3, I think the ratio was, something like that. Very satisfying win. Gives me some much needed cash and some much needed food, so I can actually probably upgrade this for a change. Um, well, after the. This sounds just ridiculous. I can't see why you wouldn't get that. Um, so let's do that. Let's get the old onboard race compactor. There we go. Did I actually do that? I feel like I did. I did. Cool. Done. Um, let's see here. Let's just quickly go with this, and I think I'll call it at that point. Uh, we were going down here, so I'm trying to get a bit more cash on the thing. I'm trying to get 
the minus 80% upkeep and the one for that so I would put 25% ish of that which at 2500 is a significant amount of um, upkeep and really help me expand my armies in the meantime though do we need to spend in this cash I do want to spend this cash I want to spend it on upgrading this of course I do let's do that Perfect. Uh, let's update my warp engineer. Where's my warp engineer? Brickwit Mas Mas Quick. Good name. I like that name. That spell is really good. Uh, but we want more ammo. All the, ammo the more ammo we get, the better. So, yeah, we are making progress, and I'm tempted to push up to take Petonia. To be honest, now, um, can I actually just jump through there? No, I can't just jump over there. That fight is interesting. So I might upgrade this army a bit. Um, and send them... Uh, I will try to take over this place. If I open that neighbourhood up, and I need open up the Wood Elves, which are already at war with me. And the Wood Elves could be nasty. Very nasty. And the other possibility is to go over here, take Sour Toes. Oh, you see, he looks a bit vulnerable there. I can use it as a stepping stone to take away this. Hmm. Now that is tempting. That is very tempting. I might do that, to be honest. I might just do that. But that's for the next video. So, thanks again for watching. Uh, hope you thought, hope you enjoyed the progress. Well, I'm actually quite enjoying this. Um, it's a really good mod, this voice to voice, and it's making some interesting battles. So, that being said. I'll see you in the next video.